So first thing, I want to show you something. This is a, a cat combat application tourniquet. This is exactly how they come when they ship from us to you. And this is already incorrect. If you throw this in your bag, you are already training wrong. You want to have something like this or something like this. One of our tourniquet pouches can be seen here. I personally prefer to have my tourniquet just rubber banded. I find it super easy to get out that way. We have our tourniquet here. I'm gonna go over the parts of it so you understand it a little better. This is the self-adhering strap. This is your windlass strap. This is your windlass rod. And this is your windlass clip. When applying a tourniquet to an appendage, the goal is to place the tourniquet about two to three inches above the wound. Obviously in a combat situation, that may not be feasible. You may not know exactly where the wound is. So if you are in a rush, if you're in a hurry, if you're not sure where the wound is, we do what's called a hasty tourniquet. A hasty tourniquet is high and tight. It's almost equally as effective as a deliberate tourniquet. And it just involves putting the tourniquet as high up on the limb as possible and cinching it down. 